Susan Constantine, jury consultant. You've been studying these jurors. I, uh, my hat's off to them. They have endured um, 22 days of, of often mind-numbing testimony. Uh, do you think they are in quicksand tonight? Well, really, right now, that they're exhausted. They've had several days that they've been in court. Now they're in deliberation. This is a very savvy jury. You know, we've got most all of them that have served on juries before, so they know exactly how to sift through the evidence. The thing is, I don't think that we, where we're mistake, missing this mark here is we can't look at this like attorneys. These are the general public. They've got to go through line item by line item by line item and understand and make sense of all the legal mumbo jumbo. So that's what took up part of the time. Now what they've got to do now is the reason why they're asking for all this information because this is an evidence based jury pool. They want to cross every I and cross uh, and uh, got every I and cross every T before they come up with a verdict. Susan Constantine, you are a jury consultant. You read the jurors. Now, uh, it's seven men, five women, about half of the Michael Jackson fans, but then by the same token about half of them have had experience with addiction in their families. So is that going to play off each other? You know, all of it's going to play. But what I'm looking at, Jane, here is we've got, again, seven males, five females. Females are generally harder, harder on crime. So I think that the seven males is actually an advantage for Conrad Murray. But let me tell you something. Here we got juror number 10, and you mentioned this briefly. Exactly what I wrote down. This person's going to have tremendous amount of influence in that deliberation room, even though this person does not have a medical background. The jury pool in itself will look to this person because they've got chemistry background. Number two is head of business. This person could rally up the team. This is the one that is used to taking charge and has medical background or a chemistry background. When I'm looking at the jury pool as a whole, we've got a jury that again what i'm going to mention they are evidence based not emotion based i did not see that find any caretakers in this group here they are going to make sure they're going to give the exact right verdict and that's what i want to emphasize that's the reason why it's taking so long